In the last video, I showed you how to build a browser agent to automate our LinkedIn job search and job applications. But there was one big problem. It must be run on our local machine. But what if we can be able to take this one step further and be able to run this remotely on a schedule without having us to turn on our computer and manually run our browser agents? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that using NAN and a tool called AirTop to basically use AI to control our remote browser. Now, before we get started, if you do found this video helpful, please make sure to like this video and consider subscribe for more content like this. So with that being said, if you're interested, let's get started. All right, so to get started, first, we're going to navigate to AirTop and start to sign up with account. And once we sign up, you can see that we're in the main portal. And inside of the main portal here, you can see that we have our API playground, which we can be able to enter a URL, for example, google.ca, and be able to start a browser session. After we start our browser session, you can see that we have our browser started. And now what we can do is we can use natural language to provide instructions on what to do for the browser. So here you can see we can be able to specify the text to type, which is to search for erictech.ca. And here we also instruct to press the enter key after typing. So then after it looks good, we can start to click on run. And you can see that it starts running and we have the search term typed and press enter. And now you can see that we have results generated based on the search terms. So pretty much that's how it works. We can pretty much remotely start our browser agents using this tool. So now let's click on the API keys and start to generate our API keys so that we can use it inside of our NAN workflow. All right, so after we get the API keys, you can see here in the NAN, I have created a new workflow called Browser Agents. And inside of this Browser Agent, you can see that I have a workflow. So let me tell you how this workflow works. So right away, you can see that in this workflow, we have our Browser Agents. That's basically the core part of the workflow. Basically, you can see that we have a message receiver, which basically listens for new instructions that we provided to the agents so that the Browser Agent can be able to act on those instructions. And here you can see we have our browser agent, which is basically a tools agent. And here you can see we're connected with a chat model and memory. So for the chat model, we're using a open AI chat model. And inside of our chat model, you can see that we're using the GPT-4 Turbo, which will actually give us the best results, which I found. I tried with GPT-4 Mini or GPT-4 O, but it doesn't really give me the best results compared to GPT-4 Turbo and above. Um, so in this case, I'm just gonna use this model for, for demonstration. And then back here, we also have the memories. So the memories will basically track past five interactions the model receives as context. And here you can see we also have the thinking tool, which will basically allow us to have the large language models to be able to log the thinking on each steps of the decision making. And then here we also have the browser tools and these tools basically match with the tools that we have over here. For example, on the right, you can see that these are all the tools that we have. For example, page queries, paginations, scrape. We can be able to click. We can be able to type text into an input box. We can be able to scroll through the page. And these are all the tools that we can be able to add onto the browser agents. So basically we have the browser agents have the brain, also have the action that it can trigger based on the request that we sent to the browser agents. So for example, let's say if we were to have the browser agents to apply for a job, then first is going to query the data, right? And it'd be able to identify if this is the right job. If it is, then we're going to click on this job and be able to apply for it, right? So these are basically the tools that the browser agent can trigger to perform a task that we instruct them to do, okay? And then here at the bottom here, we also have a start browser tool. So basically you can see that there's a tool called start browser here, right? So when we give it an instruction to the browser agents, it's going to first start the browser first and be able to start a session. And then for the start browser tool here, you can see that for this workflow, we takes two things. So it's going to be the URL and also the profile name. So once we have this, we can then use that to start the session, the browser session. And then we also have to start the browser window. And then we can be able to add the live view or add a live view URL onto the Google Sheets so that we can click it and be able to view all the actions that the browser agent took. So here you can see the live view URL added to the Google Sheets as well as the date on when it was added. And then what we can do is we can be able to return the IDs or the session ID back to the browser agents so that the browser agent have the capabilities to click, type, query, and be able to perform all kinds of browser actions. And if we were to open the Google Sheets, you can see that these are all the live view URLs that open for the browser agents. And basically, if we were to click it for one of those, and we can be able to see the live actions that the browser agent took. But obviously, the browser session has already ended for those. So if we were to click it, it's not able to show. So when we trigger the next workflow, uh, the browser agent is going to start the browser session. It's going to append a new record here. And once we are going to open this, we should be able to see the live action here. So let's try to start a workflow and I'll show you how it works. And to get started, basically what we need to do is just open the chat window here and you can see we have our chat window pops up. And then here I'm just going to provide an instructions to find an air purifier with the highest ratings from Home Depot Canada. 
And here you can see it's going to look through that and be able to start a browser session. So after we wait for a while, you can see that the browser session is started. So you can see we have a green check mark there. And inside of our Google Sheets, you can see that we have a new record added on row number 10, which tells us that we can be able to navigate to this page and be able to view all the actions that the browser agent took. So here you can see we're on the Home Depot landing page. And right now you can see that we have AI try to detect on what to do. Now you can see that it navigates to the air purifiers and be able to look through information and be able to find the information that we're looking for, right? All right, so now you can see that the workflow is executed successfully and we can be able to see the browser session is ended. So now what we can do is we can be able to see the chat response that's generated by AI. So now if I were to expand this bit, you can see that this is the output that's generated by browser agents. And here you can see we have a one product that has this price and this is the rating, right? Based on the air purifier search from Home Depot Canada. So now let's test some other complex task and give that task to the browser agent to perform. So here you can see this is my LinkedIn and be able to like the first post from the homepage. So to do so, I need to give the credentials to the browser agent so that it can be able to log in with my account. So in that case, back to the air top here, you can see inside of our air top, we have a section called profiles. So basically what this profile does is that so whatever credentials that we want the browser agent to authenticate with, we can be able to create a profile here and be able to add the authentication here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on connect and here you can see we can be able to save the credentials to the profile. So here I'm just going to say linkedin.com and I'm just going to click on start session. So now currently it's starting the session and here all we have to do is just navigate to this page and log in and save them to the profile. So here I'm just going to click on sign in. So here I'm just going to log in with my LinkedIn profile. All right. So now you can see that we have pretty much logged in into my LinkedIn profile and now the browser agent should have the credentials to perform tasks on my LinkedIn profile. So I'm just going to click on finish back to the NAN workflow. I'm just going to perform a task. So I'm just going to give an instruction to say navigate to my LinkedIn homepage and like the first post and let's see what it does. So right away, you can see that it starts the browser session. So, okay, so you can see that it starts the browser. And if you were to look at Google Sheets, you can see that we have a new browser started. So in that case, I'm just going to open the browser and you can see that it has logged in into my LinkedIn profile. So right now you can see that AI is in progress and let's see what action it's going to take. And now you can see that I'm able to open my homepage and like the first post, which is this one right here. I'm just going to unlike this because I didn't meant to, but basically you can see that the browser agent is able to perform tasks on my LinkedIn by logging into my LinkedIn and be able to perform those things. All right, so last but not least, so let's take a look at how to apply for jobs using the browser agents. So here I basically provide instructions to use LinkedIn easy apply feature to apply for jobs that are related to roles like developer advocate positions in Canada. So here I'm just going to send this request and hopefully it's going to trigger the workflow. And the reason why I do easy apply here is because there's no feature for upload because here you can see we have click, type, query. Um, it does not have a feature to upload the files. So that's why we're just going to use the easy apply feature, which easy apply feature contains the resume that we upload initially. So let's give this a go and see how this work. So here right away, you can see that it starts the browser. All right. So the browser is started. Let's take a look at the browser on Google Sheets. So you can see here the browser is started. Let's copy this and navigate to this browser. All right. So now you can see that it started the browser and you can see directly a search for developer for advocate jobs in Canada. And now you can see that it navigates to the developer job section. And eventually you can see that we have our job applied successfully. What's really cool about this is that we can actually be able to, like I mentioned earlier in the video, to automate this and be able to run this on a schedule, right? So maybe for example, once you apply for this job on LinkedIn, this job will not be up here again. So what happened is that we can be able to set this prompt uh, inside of our browser agents and replace the chat with a schedule trigger. So we can be able to set an interval, for example, run every five minutes, every hour, every days, every weeks. And then once we have our schedule trigger, then we also have our browser agents. Instead of listening from the user input for the message, we can be able to specify the prompt here, right? So this is the system prompts. And then here we also have the user prompt. And then here instead of our prompt from user message, what we can do is we can be able to provide the instruction here, right? So I have a prompt here and I'll just paste it here. Basically what it does is that this is the specific prompt that I use, which is to log into my LinkedIn, search for developer advocates jobs in Canada that were posted in the past weeks, right? And filter for jobs that have the easy apply feature and apply it to the first two jobs that match with the criteria. When prompted, use the most recent resume and default answers. And basically this is the prompt that that's gonna be triggered every single time when we trigger the browser agents. And then after we have the data results, we can then even log this onto Google Sheets and be able to say that, hey, these are the jobs that's being applied using the browser agents, right? So pretty much you can see that we can be able to take this into a next level by automating the process to using browser agents 
to do all kinds of things that we want to automate. So pretty much that's it for this video. And I will link the workflow in the description below where you can find it in my GitHub repository. But other than this, if you do found value in this video, please make sure to like this video, consider subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.